Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. Uh, this is the 14th video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the uh, Shape Builder tool. So it is available in the panel section. So let's tap on that. And here you will find the combined shape options. Uh, if you have used the desktop version of Adobe Illustrator, you have used the uh, Shape Builder tool and Pathfinder. So they have combined both these options uh, in, in a single panel. So you can use them. So let's see what we have inside our Shape Builder panel. So as you can see, uh, first one is the combine all. Let's try these four first, like the combine all. Let's select that and you can see both these shapes are now become one. And uh, so the uh, second option is minus front, which means that whatever layer is in front uh, will be minus from the uh, shape that is behind. So you can see that the circle was uh, in the front of the uh, square. So circle is minus from the square. So let's select again and see the third option, which is the intersect. So let's tap on that and see what happens. Now the overlapping area between the circle and square will be there and the rest of the shape is gone. So let's see what we have in option number four, which is the exclude overlap. So let's tap on that and see what happens. As you can see, we have both the shapes uh, showing at the same time. So the area that is um, inside the circle should not be uh, visible, but if as we have tapped on the uh, exclude overlap, so both these shapes are visible at the same time. So if you select that and let's undo that. So the uh, other option is the shape builder itself. So if you want to add the uh, shape uh, and make uh, both these shapes uh, a single one uh, manually, you can do that. You can tap on that and just drag the pencil across these shapes and now you can see both these shapes are uh, become one both these shapes become one so as you can see there are a variety of things that we can do with overlapping shapes so now let's see what we have left in the end you can see that divide all option uh, so let's select that and see what will happen so as you can see divide all uh, has divided both these shapes to their possible uh, divisions, like the square can be divided like that, and the circle is divided like that, and the, the area that is, you know, overlapping is separated as well. So, so the last option is the convert to path. Uh, this option will work if you have selected any of these uh, uh, presets or if you have combined the shapes so now you can use the convert to path option so let's tap on that so in order to use convert to path let's select any of these uh, shapes for example like exclude to overlap and now you can see that convert to path is now enabled and let's tap on that As you can see, if we double tap on the circle and if we separate this, the square is minus from the circle and the circle is minus from the square. So this is a inverse kind of situation. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.